What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to our life movie. Today's life movie is going to start out just a little bit different. Last night, James and I went exploring the witch's house. If you don't know and you haven't watched this video on my other channel before, pretty cool place. I won't get into the details because the video footage I'm about to share with you has some of those details. We did a live stream on my channel. In case you missed that live stream because it is no longer public, I will leave a link down below. You can watch it there. Still going to be kind of exclusive. It's a live stream. You know what I mean? It's not quality footage like this. But anyways, after that live stream, James and I went to go investigate another house that is supposed to be haunted and it's in the same neighborhood of the witch's house. Now it was a pretty spooky place. I'm gonna share some of that footage with you and I'll see you back here in a little bit. goes James a little bit ahead of me you all right man yeah, Brennan any any spiders yet yeah. oh look right oh dude look at this oh dude I'm surprised you didn't run into this guy holy moly haven't he been in the house yet and it's living up to its name 100% bro how did you not run into this you are you are in front of me right now. Holy look, look what you just dodged. So my friend Joe came here. I found the place. And it's crazy because it's in the same neighborhood. In fact, right next door or in back of this house is the witch's house. A lot of you are... What was that? Bro, shh. Was somebody here? I heard something when I first got in there too. Dude, there's a bed in there. Like, is there a homeless person sleeping in there? Maybe? I don't know. Well, my friend, my friend Joe came here before me. I told him about the place because I was driving by, and I was like, "Dude, there is a house right next to the witch's house. Go check it out." And he made a couple of videos here, and he told me he has never seen so many spiders in his life here at this house. And a lot of weird stuff he caught here on video too. Oh, well, James is definitely afraid of spiders. So, oh wow, dude, look at all the black widows. They really? Yeah, all over the place. When it comes to oh, a lot of haunted houses that we've been in, you know, we usually know a lot of the history and stuff, but there's been some places like a place like this. We only really know based off what we know, going in and exploring. And so far, it's pretty scary to me. Oh, what? Geez. What? I just stuck my hand in a huge spider web. What the fudge? Bro, that's almost really bad what just happened. Hey, we, we might have to stay kind of close. So there's a lot of like venomous spiders in here. Bro, I just stuck my hand down there to make sure there's no spider webs. There's a Oh, there's there's a spider web right there. That's probably what you touch. Is there any spider webs right here? No, you're good. No spider webs down here. No. Like right. We might gonna hang off here. James is trying to find a place to take a dump. Stop. <laughs> so I just made it inside of the haunted spider house. And you can see right there. That's a big boy. I mean, there's just like spiders everywhere in here if you're afraid of spiders probably not a good idea to watch this video if you want to get over your fear of spiders probably not a good idea to watch this video either because i'm kind of scared myself i mean there's literally everywhere i look there's a spider oh my gosh what kind of spider is that i'm not even worried about this place being haunted anymore this is just like a it's like a clickbait house and the reason why I say clickbait is because spiders are the biggest clickbaiters ever. What do you think a web is, you know? Like you just fly, mind your own business, and, and then a spider comes and eats you. But just a minute ago, I heard something like, 
almost like if somebody was outside. I thought it was James and then he was already inside. Dude, that cabinet door was just moving all on its own right now. Yeah, right. I swear. I swear, dude, it was dude, moving. Are you serious? I think I even caught it on like camera. It moved a little bit? Or no, it was like going back and forth. Dude, it was going back and forth. No way. Bro, I can't even believe it. Oh! Oh! What? Spiders? Oh! Dude, I just rubbed up against a spider. Oh. What? Bro, do you think he's gonna use baby? No. I hear James like freaking out inside right Bro, there. I, I came out here. Cabinet move, I swear, dude. What cabinet? The one on top. I saw the bottom one move. No, you seen the bottom one move? Yeah, that's the one that I seen move. We haven't even checked out back there, dude. We still have to check out back there. I don't know. I don't even want to, dude. I'm I'm like freaked out over these spiders. Dude, Look, there's one right there. The hell? I'm telling you, this house is infested with spiders. So James and I were going to spend the entire night at that haunted spider house. But honestly, like every time we kept turning off our cameras to go like explore another place, like we would run into a spider web, start screaming. And honestly, like we just, we just felt it was a better idea just to not spend the night there. Like it was just, it was a bad idea. Super duper late anyways. I'm getting pretty tired, but the little bit of time that I spent at that house was actually pretty frightening. Uh, I mean, not as far as like ghosts or anything like that is concerned, but the spiders. It's definitely connected to that witch's. Oh God, yeah. Because the, the witch's house is right next door to it. We did a live stream there today, or earlier today, and it was covered in spiders. Spiders everywhere. I'm not sure what the rest of the day has in store for us, but you're more than welcome to be a part of it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that 3 a.m. challenge explore video. It was a lot of fun. I was pretty scared. I mean, there haven't been a whole lot of places where I kind of went running out of and I was just kind of scared to make a video there. That has to take the cake. But I think part of the reason why I was so scared was because of the spiders. I don't know, let me know here in the comments if you maybe seen something or heard something, but video is not over. I'm gonna probably go over to my new house. A lot of you haven't seen that house yet. If you're new to my videos, I did purchase a new house. I mean, it's new to me. It needs a lot of work though. I'm not gonna be moving to this house for a couple of months from now. I don't know if it's haunted or not, but I did find some really creepy dolls. In fact, a few of you shared this video with me and it looks pretty similar to my doll, Abigail. Have a look. You, you seriously think this doll is possessed, do you? I wouldn't necessarily say possessed, but there is, it, it, it has got something. Yeah. It's definitely got something. You almost look like Debbie, you don't want to even look at the doll. No, I don't. Are you a bit scared? I don't even want to touch it. Really? Yeah. Pretty weird stuff, huh? I haven't been around Abigail that much to tell the difference yet, but looks pretty spot on to me anyways i'm getting ready to go into harbor freight harbor freight you know the tool place i have to get a sub pump because i'm trying to drain my pool yeah the pool at my house so we're gonna go take a look at it i believe that there is something other than fish living in that pool if you missed that video where i was talking about a monster living in that pool i caught like a large mouth bass in fact I showed one, but I ended up catching two. The second one, I don't know why, but we weren't recording. I thought I was recording, but the second one was much bigger than the first one. And I don't know, I'm gonna drain the pool, see if there's anything else inside of the pool. Probably gonna do this tomorrow, but we're gonna have a look right now. Go check out the house and let's have a look at Abigail. What do you say? There are deer in front of my house. Oh, look at him go. Don't go. Don't go, please. So that is the water pump that I bought, but I also had to buy that. It's like a special water hose to hook up to it so then it could, you know, drain a pool. I really like this, man. This is awesome. So back here was like a jungle before. Couldn't even walk. 
back in this area and now it's cleared up pretty good uh, it's still got a lot of work to do house needs new windows it needs a new roof we need like you know wood that needs to be replaced which the roof guys are gonna do. I did get brand new ACs installed. The original ACs were not working. Now the reason I cannot drain my pool today, well, for one, it's eight o'clock. It's really late, it's probably gonna take a little while. But the main reason is because the homeowners association here, they don't allow like after six o'clock, like loud noise and stuff. In other words, anybody that comes and works on your house, they have to be out by 6 p.m. So it's, you know, it's already 8 p.m. and those machines can be kind of loud. I mean, it's like having a lawnmower on and it's probably going to take, I mean, I don't know, how long do you think it's going to take to drain that? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come really early in the morning, maybe like 7, 8 o'clock. I'm going to set it up, start draining the pool, and then I'm going to come back a little bit later. So this is my backyard. I have like a little pond back there, which is kind of cool oh dude I knew there was something else in here what the hell was that I don't know about you but that legit sounded like a freaking ball like if maybe somebody threw a ball or something from the neighbors now my neighbor back there was telling me that because of this pond in the back and I guess he had his pool open like I had mine open and he put a screen around it later on but he seen a water moccasin on like a pool floaty and it freaked him out. He was like, you know what? We're going to put a screen around our pool. So yeah, there could be a water moccasin in here too. That is possible. Uh, sound like something flew over the, the woods though. I don't know. It could have been a tree branch. <sighs> Anyways, well, yeah, there's my backyard. I had to clear a little area for the dogs to run and go potty and this is plenty. Honestly, we're going to do some landscaping eventually. Let me know in the comments. Like a lot of you have been asking me to bring my friend Patty to do like a paranormal investigation in here. Oh, it feels nice in here. Thank God for air conditioning. It's so bright in here during the day. I just seen something move again in the pool. What the hell? Whatever is in there is big. There's something big in my pool. I'm actually pretty excited about draining my pool now. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think is in my pool. Could it be a big snake? Maybe it's another fish or more fish? I don't know. It sounded like a, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it sounded like a fish jumped out of the water and went back in the water. I don't know. Anyways, I was thinking about doing like a overnight challenge. I've never been here late at night. This is where I put the dolls last. Now, the tree guys that I hired, one of them thought that I didn't need these dolls anymore, as well as my pressure washer, and decided to pawn my stuff. When I went to the pawn shop, they didn't have the dolls, so I had to ask nicely, hey, can I have my dolls back? And I got them back. It was, it was pretty cool that I got them back. You guys are in here. Hope you're in here. Oh, there they go, right there. There's Abigail, Anastasia, and Angel. So that's that's Angel. I don't know, I've been tossing around some different names for the bigger dolls, but that's definitely Abigail. And that's the one that, in that video that you've seen. We're gonna come back tomorrow, and oh, hopefully they're still in the same place. I'm sure they will be. I mean, they've been here for a week and haven't moved, so this is good. Oh, I got so much work to do in here. This is gonna be Max's room. Now, I had a weird dream last night about this house, and before the dream ended, I heard the name Jackie. And that's strange because those dolls, their names aren't Jackie. I gave them all A names, so I don't know what that means. Maybe, maybe you can tell me. This is going to be Ethan's room. This is where I originally found Abigail. Look at these carpets, man. Oh, they're so gross. So yeah, we're putting all tile and we're even ripping out this tile. I think starting tomorrow, like my demo guys are coming out. Gotta get rid of this mattress too. This is Malia's room. Originally was an exercise room. 
that's why there's mirrors there i have to maybe re-silicone them or something make sure they're not going anywhere i mean we got so much work in here that we're doing we're replacing the bathrooms putting new tile on the walls all the cabinets are gonna get a you know all new cabinets of course taking out this wallpaper even though it kind of looks cool really excited to show you the progress on my house it's gonna be fun but yeah i mean so far we haven't done anything yet i was gonna do a lot of the work myself but if you didn't know i was actually gonna build a house beforehand and i gave a small deposit to that builder and instead of him giving me that deposit back he's actually gonna give me some discounts and work on my house for me and then you know when that money runs out of course i'll step in and do my own thing but for the most part i mean that's cool because I mean, we're getting the cabinets done, which is nice. And I mean, they're redoing all my cabinets. I'm getting new cabinets in here and my bathrooms and my laundry room. And it's gonna be like less than 15 grand, which is like a steal. And I don't have to come out of pocket for that. So yeah, I need to save as much money as I can possible on this house. Here's my garage here. That's kind of dark. Yeah, I started a rip out carpets and stuff and the AC guys had to take that thing down because it was broken so I gotta put a new one. I have not been in the attic yet. I'm curious what we'll find up there. They did pull this out of the attic and he told me that there was more stuff up there. Is it like a baby bassinet? Which is kind of cool. I don't know why people would leave that behind. I'm gonna go ahead and start letting you go. I do appreciate you being a part of this adventure and vlog today. Hopefully you're digging the daily or almost daily uploads. So make sure to like it if you haven't already. I gotta go for now before we leave. Give me kids.